This is N2LEN with another test video. Uh, this is the latest DV4 mini control panel from wirelesshole.com. This was this revision was released uh, November 21st. We updated it. Uh, the, the actual image that we're using is the W1MSG uh, DV4 Mini Pi 3 latest um, image. We want to thank Craig for his uh, continuing offerings of these uh, great images. We just updated it. And this uh, is basically a demo uh, demonstration video just to show how to set up Brandmeister uh, for some people that are in the DV4 user group that's having issues. Test Radio is the, the Bofang DM5R uh, that we use for Simplex. Remember, do not, I repeat, do not use the uh, Bofang DM5R for repeaters because it has a dual time slot transmitting on dual time slot simultaneously but in simplex it works fine for home hotspot use once again do not use the bofang for repeater use they've been banned on a lot of systems anyway getting back to the software setup basically set up your information uh, once you have the dv4 mini uh showing up on the panel you want to come in here and you want to select uh DMR Plus, in the expert settings, you want to come in and you want to choose the closest DMR master, which is Brandmeister for New York, uh, for New York and Northeast, we select Brandmeister 3101, you can come in here and you can pull down, you can see there's all the masters that are in there, and now what you have to do is you need to set up extended routing. So you want to select, uh, you pull down, and what we select is we select uh, reflector 4999. Uh, when you do that, the next step you have to do is you have to log in to your Brandmeister dashboard. Once you get into your dashboard and you log in, you want to come over to services, click on extended routing. Once you're in extended routing, uh, you're going to come up here and you're going to actually, uh, being that the, the, uh, the DV4 Mini is on the correct network, you want to pull down, select your DV4 Mini, and then over here on the right, you could select all these talk groups on Brandmeister. Right now, we're listening to 3100. You type in 3100, and then you click Save. It'll highlight in green to show you that the settings were saved. And now we're listening to the 3100 uh, Brandmeister talk group. Uh, and that's about it. So just make sure that you're, you, you're logged in, you, uh, you have a password and username for the Brandmeister dashboard. Once again, come over to Services. Uh, you can see when you click on Hotspots, it'll show your hotspot. Uh, you know, if you come into Repeaters, it'll show all your repeaters that are listed. We'll pull this down, you know, and stuff. So basically, so that's basically it. Uh, and that's how you use the... DV4 Mini with the latest um, control panel from Wireless Hold for Brandmeister. Another thing uh, you want to what you want to do is when you set up your transmit and receive frequencies, it's important that you t you actually monitor the uh, TX frequency of your DV4 Mini. Uh, you could put it in front of an RF frequency counter. You could run it right into a service monitor. And then what you want to do is you want to actually check the transmit output frequency and then kind of tailor the software to what the actual transmit output is. They are they do run a little bit off, and you want to try to zero, zero them in as best as possible with frequency alignment, and you could match it through the software. Uh, right over here, you can go plus, minus, uh, uh, you know, 100 hertz, a negative 100 hertz, and, and so forth. Uh, another thing you may want to fool around with to try to get the audio to sound good with these because they, they are what they are for uh, DMR. You come in and you could adjust the buffer rate uh, depending on your intimate, uh, your internet speed. And that's basically it. This is, uh, if anybody else has any questions, post a comment. This is N2LEN, and I hope this helps. Best 7-3.
with this quick video of the DV4 Mini Control Panel software.